BT is brought to you in part by Tropicana Pure Premium. Brighter mornings for brighter days. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by the new Flow 93.5. The new Flow 93.5 for those in the flow. The bank lights are on. At this hour. What are you people still doing here? It's late. We're open late. But you're bankers. Mm -hmm. You should be working bankers hours. These are our bankers hours. Uh. Is everyone working bankers hours now? Sheesh. We call them customers hours at TD Canada Trust. We're open eight till late, six days straight. It's how we're making banking more comfortable. Von Mills and City Line want to know what inspires you. We're giving one lucky grand prize winner a shot at turning their inspiration into a fashion mission with Von Mills style agents Jeanette Ewan and Afia Francisco. So upload a tear sheet or image of your favorite look to cityline.ca and one of you will win a $2,500 shopping spree with Afia and I at Von Mills. And you can have the chance to star in a future episode of our web series, Style Agents. Fashion mission accomplished from City Line and Von Mills. What's that? That's last night's dinner. Hate lingering odors? Febreze AirFX actually eliminates odors caused by bacteria and leaves a light, fresh scent. Febreze, it's a breath of fresh air. If you're shopping for blinds, come to blinds to go We definitely guarantee the lowest price. The reason that our prices are so low is because we have our own factory and we pass the savings right on to the customer. Right now, take 10 to 40% off selected styles. We make our blinds right here in Canada. Just imagine custom-made blinds in 48 hours. Our customers think it's pretty fantastic. At Blinds to Go, people make all the difference. 22 locations in Ontario. Call 800-BLIND-7. You have the right to be the envy of an entire nation. You have the right to more than 1,190 kilometers per tank. You have the right to Autobahn-ready performance. You have the right to European-tuned WOW. You have the right to affordable German engineering. Every Volkswagen model is now available at just 0% APR up to 36 months during our Autobahn for All sales event. Time to say good morning to Jen Valentine, and uh, she's far, far away right now. Well, actually, it was a hop and a skip via Porter, but there she is in Quebec. Good morning. Bonjour, Jennifer. Comment ça va? Bonjour, Dina. It is so... <laughs> uh, Ça va bien. There is a little bit of a delay. <laughs> there is a bit of a delay. Tell us, why are you in Quebec? We are here with the Mira Foundation at the Yukonuba Center, and we came here because of these wonderful assistance dogs. They've been around since 1981. And I just want to let everybody know that they rely solely on public donations. It costs about $30,000 to train these dogs, to take care of these dogs for food, for everything. But they provide them to people with disabilities, uh, people with vision impairment, of course, for free. Um, you know, if you want more information, they provide dogs to people all over Canada. Just go to breakfasttelevision.ca and we'll give you all the information. But recently, they've been providing dogs for children with autism. So how wonderful is that? I'm going to bring in Eric St. Pierre. He is the founder, started this in 1981. Hi. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Jennifer. Over 200 dogs uh, um, on location right now. But you, you provided over 2,000 dogs since 1981. 30 years ago, you know, so it's a long time. A lot of patience, a lot, a lot of support, you know. Everybody, they were you know, just buying pins and things like that. And uh, also the company, a lot of company, Metro, FBC, and uh, you can, of course, they feed our dogs since 50 years now. So that it's, you know, everybody has to be all together because help people who are blind, help people who are uh, physical disabilities, and also now, like you said, the autism. It's, uh, I'm, 
I'm happy to have the opportunity to do that for people. Well, this is wonderful. wonderful. And, and I love dogs. Your, your dogs, dogs are beautiful. Now, I noticed that you yeah. have you you have a new type of dog called a Labernese. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is a Labernese right yeah. here. I've got a Labernese. Yeah. That's, um, that's what. Tell me a little bit about lab, the Labernese. Uh, Labernese is mainly... Well, which is the little guy over there, eight peso, and uh, that Labrador, the small one. And why did you mix the two? Because the Labrador is a very uh, stable dog. He is a straight dog, not a complicated, fair dog. He forgives a lot. You know, if you do a mistake with the Lab, he will be forgive you uh, easily. The Bouvier is more touchy, you know. If you do a mistake with him, he will maybe uh, you take it personally. But the mix of two bring that big guys there who is more stable and a little bit more clever than the Labrador, you know. He can adjust himself to the personality of the person. Let's see, for instance, a blind person get hold, he start to have problem to walk, but the Labrador will just add up himself to his new master. Now we have a class going on right now. Uh, two of the moms here, they have children with autism. They're meeting their dogs for the first time. They'll, they'll stay here right on the premises. They'll sleep here, eat here, and spend a week with the dog and make sure it's the right fit and then take the dog home. It's Rosanna. Rosanna. Hello. A nine-year-old child, a son with autism, and this is your new dog. You cried when you saw your dog. Oh, most definitely. He's beautiful. Now, what's his name? Zach. Zach. And what do you think this is going to do for your son? Well, this is going to help him because he has no friends. He's a... Uh, Nonverbal, also, and well, the main reason that I asked for him was to help him for a sleeping disorder. He didn't sleep at night well, and this is going to help him. I'm hoping, yeah. Beautiful dog, and um, this is going to be his best friend. It is, it is. Martine is here as well. Where is Martine? Here. Martine, come on over here. Your son is 12 years old, also has autism. Uh, this is Maggie. Maggie is a great fit for your son. Why? Yeah, um, our son is nonverbal. And uh, we were looking for to find him a best friend, really, because he has no friends at school and he plays on his own a lot. And he has no sense of danger, so we walk to school. And in front of the school, there's a four-stop corner, and the people don't always stop. And so we're hoping that she's going to be his friend for life, she for a long be. time. She will and be. She's very quiet and she's very well-behaved, extremely well-trained, and uh, very excited to come from Winnipeg to come here together. A special dog. From Winnipeg. They provide dogs all over Canada. Again, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Back to you, Kev. Hey, Maggie. Hello. Short, short. Maggie? Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Uh, Jennifer, we always think of service dogs as being for people who are visually impaired, and, and now you're showing that definitely they're not. We've asked people to send in a picture of them with their service dogs today. So here's one from Sheila Stevens, Jennifer. Uh, it, this is my mother's service dog. She calms my mother down when she has a panic attack. So that, that's really, really interesting. Oh. That's great. That's wonderful. They're doing so much, these dogs. All right. Thank you very much, Jennifer. We'll get back to Jennifer with more out in the Montreal area in the next little while. Right now, check of traffic and weather for you. Here's Eva. Well, things are looking pretty good out there on the major roadways. On the 401, westbound 401, we had earlier problems. We had a ladder across two of the lanes, and then after that, we had a collision, and now the tow trucks and emergency crews, they were taking up the right lane. They've just moved off over to the shoulder now, so you can see over here on the shoulder, uh, those vehicles are still there, and that is still causing delays for drivers as we take a quick look in behind at that backup. Through the 400 in the collector lanes, you can see pretty heavy going, and we'll go even further back around Jane, and not actually through Jane, it's in pretty good shape. So just from the 400 to approaching Wesson is where the delays are. Eastbound on the 401, slow going from Jane over to Keel in the collector lanes. You can see it's very bright out there on that 401. Quick look out in the east end of the 401 around Harwood. That's actually very slow going right now. West 401 from Harwood over to uh, the Brock Road area. Pretty slow going. So if you're trying to head into the Toronto area, again, leave yourself extra time. The rest of the roadway is also starting to get pretty busy with that volume. Kevin.
Thank you. Here's Jessica, Transit Control. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Front Street is closed from George to Sherburn Street because of a broken water main from yesterday. That's not directly affecting the TTC, but it is affecting our King Street cars because of that spillover traffic. So give yourself an extra few minutes through that area. Also, construction causing lane restrictions and d delays on steels between Dufferin and Keel. So leave time through that stretch as well. If you're heading into the subways or the SRT this morning, things are looking great. There are still no delays. Back to